Okay, as we start reading number one, we just kind of follow the uh, order. It starts out with 30. So we're going to write down 30. And it says minus the sum of 5 plus a number. So we're going to minus the sum. So we have to add this up. Sum means to add a 5 plus a number. We'll just call it n. And that equals 11. So we have 30 minus what equals 11. Well, I'm not for sure, so I'm off to the side here. I'm going to take my 30 minus 11 and see that we have 19 left. That means this what total has to be 19. Well, 5 plus what is 19? To find that, I can take 19 minus 5 and get 14. So, our n is going to equal 14. 5 plus 14 is 19. 30 minus 19 is 11. So, n equals 14. Same thing we're just going to read here. We have the sum, which means add, the sum of 9 and a number. So we have 9 plus a number. And we're going to take that times 50. So I'm going to put this in parentheses so we get that answer first. And then we're going to take it times 50. I'm sorry, times 5, and it equals 50. Times 5, and it equals 50. 50. There we go. So our question is what, because I can't do anything with this yet, what times 5 equals 50? Well, most of you all know that, but in case you didn't, the opposite of multiplication is division. So we can do 50 divided by 5, and we get 10. So 10 times 5 equals 50. Well, n plus what equals 5? n plus 1, I'm sorry, equals 10. n plus 1 equals 10. So our n is going to equal 1. n plus 1, that's 10, or 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 times 5 is 50. This one has our expression. We just have to solve it. So we have 4 plus n in parentheses. This is our what. What times 2 equals 16? Most of you all know that. But in case you don't, we can do 16 divided by 2 and get 8. So our parentheses has to equal 8. Well, 4 plus what equals 8? 4 plus 4 equals 8. So n is going to equal 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. We can work out a little bit on this. Uh, we have 14 minus 8 here, which is 6. So we're going to have a bracket in divided by 6 equals 47 minus 50. This is our new problem. I can't solve this. This is my what. So 50 minus what is 47? Most of you all might know that, but in case you don't, we can do the op we can subtract take 50 and subtract out 47 and that will tell us what we need to subtract, which is 3. So this what, this n divided by 6 has to be 3. Now this one is the one that you all kind of get confused on because you all are still confused on your division box, but if we have a division box, we are taking something in. That would be here. We don't know what that is yet. Divided by 6, we're going to divide it by 6, that goes on the outside, and our answer is 3. So we have to figure out what goes in the box here. Well, one thing that I remember is when we check a division problem, we can multiply it to get here. So I can put my multiplication sign here. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. So our what over here was 3. Our answer had to be 3, so our n had to be 18. So we have 18 divided by 6, which is 3. 50 minus 3 is 47, so our n equals 18. 
Okay, on this one it says multiply. Okay, so we're going to multiply. What are we multiplying? It says the sum of 11 and 5. Well, the sum of 11 and 5 is 11 plus 5 because that means sum. And we're going to multiply that by 6. All right, what's 11 plus 5? 16 times 6. 16 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 1, 6 plus 3 is 9. Our answer is 96. Um, yeah, this is a problem too. I'm not for sure how to solve it. Give me your thoughts. Uh, that's something. Okay, it says to add 14 and 6. All right, add 14 and 6. And then multiply, oh, I'll have to do this first. And then multiply that by 9. There's our problem. PEMDAS says to do the parentheses first. 14 plus 6 is 20 times 9. So then we do 20 times 9, 9 times 0. 9 times 2, 180. PEMDAS says to do our parentheses brackets first. We have a parenthesis, I'm sorry, parenthesis here. So we have 6 plus 10 is 16 minus 40. That is still in a bracket divided by 3. We have to do our bracket parentheses first. So we have 40 minus 16, regroup, 10 minus 6 is 4, 3 minus 1 is 2, so this becomes 24 divided by 3. You can do 24 divided by 3. How many times can you put 3 into 24? The answer is 8, so our answer is 8. Last one, we have parentheses, 5 plus 7 is 12 times 5, 12 times 5 is 60.